Hi, welcome to Opera Nightclub in Midtown Atlanta. I'm the bartender and the host of this party. I serve drinks to way too many people in this city and they always talk to me about something. Some people talk to me about their wives, their girlfriends, their jobs, their taxes. Some of them had too many cocktails to even finish a sentence. What I love to talk about is sports. I'm Hunter Weeks. Cheers. This round's on me. Now football is over, basketball is getting into the thick of the season, hockey is heading towards the playoffs, and we're about a month away from opening day. What are the people in this town talking about? They're talking about the Hawks and the Falcons. Now as miserable as these two franchises have been as of late, why would anyone be talking about them? Well, let me tell you something. I've lived in this city for 27 years. Deep down, I want these teams to win. We all want these teams to win. So why aren't they? It's a problem with the front office. The Braves have done a great job of putting the right people in the right positions, and the front office has been smart. Now, they were kind of the Buffalo Bills of Major League Baseball for a while, but they did win a championship about a decade ago. The Hawks and the Falcons have done absolutely nothing. They've made bad moves or no moves whatsoever, and they have turned Atlanta into Losersville, USA. The story broke last week about Billy Knight wanting to fire Mike Woodson, but the powers that be said no. Let me tell you something, powers that be. They should both be fired. Tell me something positive either of these two morons have done for this organization. You need some more time to think about it? Yeah, that's enough. Mike Bibby. Too bad it was a makeup call for not drafting Darren Williams or Chris Paul. Brandon Roy, Andrew Bynum, Al Jefferson, Josh Howard, Amari Stoudemire, Lou Al Dang, Karan Butler. All of these players could have been in Hawks uniforms, but instead the incredible job of talent scouting landed us more 6'9 power forwards than any team knows what to do with or could ever need. Now I will give the smallest amount of credit, and I mean the smallest amount of credit to the Hawks for assembling arguably the second or third most talented team in the Eastern Conference. But what has that gotten us? Double digit home blowout losses and no chance of turning this season around. Wake up spirit, you are a coach and a general manager away from having a good young contender in a weak Eastern Conference, but instead, you're letting two guys run this franchise that couldn't take a 12-year-old girls basketball team to the playoffs. Keep losing, go ahead. If this continues, city is gonna wash our hands of your team. Is there any other city in this country where the fans would chant MVP for a player who doesn't even play on their own team? This is because you have made this a pathetic excuse for a professional organization. The funniest thing about the Hawks is that when you compare them to the Falcons, you don't even know who's worse. The Falcons are in a great position right now because they have a lot of draft picks and a new front office, despite the fact that Rich McKay is still around here for whatever reason. We're going off a of recent history of the NFC South where a team that finished in last place usually finishes in first place the next season. Hopefully the Falcons will do well next year. Unfortunately, just like the Hawks, they are terrible on draft day. Is Darren McFadden the best player in this draft? Yes. Is Matt Ryan the best quarterback in this draft? Yes. Are championships won in the trenches? Absolutely. That's why you take Jake Long. This draft is very deep in quarterbacks. You could take a Chad Henney or a John David Booty in the second round. If you take Darren McFadden that first pick, even he will get killed running behind this Swiss cheese offensive line. This city is dying for a championship. We want to see the Hawks win. We want to see the Falcons win. Give us a reason to cheer. Give us a reason to come to the games. Give us a reason to support these teams. That's all I've got for you today. Come down and see me at Opera. Have a shot. Let's talk some sports. I'm Hunter Weeks, and this round's on me. Yep.